Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to convert text to speech using Python and the PyTTY SX3 Python library. So the first thing we need to do is install this library on our computer system. So I want you to go to your terminal. Once you're in your terminal, I want you to run the command pip install PyTTY SX3. So once you do that, it's going to install the library for you. PyTTY SX3 means Python text to speech version 3. Now, once you do that, open your, um, create a Python file and open it to your code editor. So how exactly does this library work? This library works by converting text to speech in both male and female voices. And you can also set the rate of the voice. That is, you can also set how fast you want this, the voice to be. That is, how fast you want, basically how fast and how slow you want the voice to be. You can also set the volume you want. That is, how high and how low you want it to be. And what another thing you can do is that you can also save this generated speech to an mp3 file so it's something that you can listen to you can even create audio books using this library so let's start the working with it so we need to start by importing this library we're going to say import pytsx3 then after doing that we need to create an object now we we'll do that by saying engine is equal to pytsx3.init now after doing that we can just call a function right now and we can make our program talk now i'm going to show you how all we need to say is engine.c that is we want to say something now inside this parenthesis we're just going to write a string i'm just going to type i am a boy then after doing that we need to now say engine.run and wait uh engine the run and wait and after doing that we need to write one more line and we need to say engine dot stop so once we run this code now it's going to say i am a boy in male voice because the default um voice for this program is in male voice but as we progress i'm going to teach you how to choose what voice you want either male or female so let's run this Now, I want you to listen for the male voice. That is the voice you are going to hear. I am a boy. So, as you can see, it, the program said what we passed into this parenthesis. It said I am a boy. But it said it in a very fast way. So, now I am going to be teaching you how to set the rates. That is how fast and how slow you want the voice to be. And I'm going to teach you what um, voice type you want, either male or female. And I'm also going to show you how to save the generated speech to an mp3 file so by setting the rate we are going to if you want to set the rate there's something we need to do after this by this is a three dot in it just go down and create a new line now since we are setting the rate we need to say something we need to say engine dot set property that is we want to set the rate property so engine dot set property and we will open parenthesis inside here we will pass in rate and after doing that, we will just pass in 125. Now, 125 is the rate that I want. You can go ahead and play around with it and see what works for you. You can decide to pass in 30 or 50 just to play around with it and see what works for you. Now that we have set the voice property, we now need to set what voice property we want. Now, I am going to show you how we can set the female voice property. So what we need to do first is that we need to get the voice property. So we we'll do that by saying voices is equal to engine dot get property and then inside parenthesis we will pass in voices. Now what we now need to do in the next line is we need to now say engine dot set property like earlier. We need to set the voice property and then inside here the parenthesis we are going to pass in voice. Then after doing that, we'll put a comma and say voices. We'll open a list and we'll pass in one. And then we'll come out and say dot ID. Now, what does this one mean? If we go to the official documentation of this library, if we see it here, they say changing index. The zero is for the male and one is for the female. So what we're doing here basically is that we're using indexing to access these voices. Now, if you want to use a male voice, you are going to pass in zero here into this list. 
if you want to use a female voice you pass in one if you want to use a male voice you pass in zero now if we run this program you are going to hear a female voice saying i am okay let me just change this to i am a girl since we're working with a female voice and then also it's not going to be as fast as before so let's run it run this and see i am a girl as you can see it said i am a girl and your voice didn't sound robotic it actually sounded nice so now that we have um, learned how to set the voice we want and we've learned how to set the rate, how do we actually save this generated speech to an MP3 file? If you look at the official documentation, we can see that they have um, told us that there is a function that we can do and say save to file. But what we need to pass in is that we need to pass in the contents, that is whatever we are converting into um text into um audio we need to pass it in and then we need to pass in the name of the file that we what name we want to name the file so i'm going to show you how to do that now excuse me so what we're going to say is that after this engine.save we would come down and say engine.save uh to file and we're going to pass in let's just create a variable for this so we would come here and say um sentence we we'll say sentence is equal to i am a girl and after doing that instead of passing the i am a girl inside here we'll just pass in sentence and then inside here also engine.save to file we are going to pass in sentence and then we also need to pass in what name we want to give this file so we're going to name it test dot mp3 let's just cross check to make sure we're right let's check the documentation okay so this should work let me clear out the terminal and then let's run our code again to see how well it works so we'll run this I am a girl. Okay, it has said the I am a girl, but we also need to check if the MP3 file has been created. So I am going to open the directory where I have this, and you can see, lo and behold, there is a test.mp3 file that has been created. Now, if you like seeing content like this, and this was very helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and share this video. So you've learned how to um, convert text to speech and you've learned how to pick your voice and set the rate you want. So come back for more video guys and thank you for watching.